Good morning. Welcome to week two of Recharge. I'm Vicar Sam Schick, uh, and coming to you from the Vicarage office. As I meditate on our text for this morning, my first thought is that we often have such fragile egos. Have you ever been in, in a group of friends and somebody shares a story about you that you're really kind of embarrassed about? And that happened to me not too long ago as uh, somebody recounted my detention story. There's this one detention that I'll never forget because I got a detention for playing basketball in the computer lab. And, and as the story was shared, somebody said, well, yeah, that wasn't very smart. I would have given you a detention too. And immediately, as soon as the story is out there, my first reaction is to add in they shouldn't have kicked me out of the gym. I come in with an excuse. And I wonder if sometimes we do that with God, too. He knows our sins. They're obvious to him. He sees everything. But then when he sends somebody into our life to, to remind us of how we hurt them or we hurt somebody else by our sin, our first reaction is often to make an excuse. To say, well, I'm a sinner. How did she expect me to react when she disrespected me? And our verse this morning, Proverbs 3, verse 5, says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. And when we make excuses for our sins, it is like the hammer of the law comes down on us and we are trying to prop ourselves up on our own understanding. Yet the proverb for this morning tells us there is no point in propping ourselves up. There is no benefit in trying to save face. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Let that hammer of the law lay you flat. Because God sees your sin. And for Jesus' sake, he forgives it. And then he lifts you up, puts you back on your feet, and lets you walk again, trusting in him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are faithful even when we are not. Teach us this week not to make excuses, but instead to trust in you and your forgiveness. In Jesus' name.